Yeah. And I think that when you um, come into a relationship or if it's further on down in a relationship where you start to um, expect perfection, I think that's where you start to fail Agreed. in the relationship um, because it, it, at times it can be the complete opposite. I mean, I don't mean that in a way like, no, no, I'm, yeah, no, it, you know, at same. times it's just life happens. And, and whereas once upon a time you were doing life by yourself, you now have literally have a life partner. Right. Um, so at times it can be double the things um, that you're dealing with good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, Greetings and welcome to T Vibes and Tribe Podcast. My name is Amaru and this is my wonderful wife Shana. Thank you, handsome. And we are our essence of serenity. And again, this is our podcast where we like to sip tea and invite you to the table to have various conversations with us. Would you like to tell the people what we're sipping on? Yes, today we are sipping on chamomile tea. Yes, yes, yes. And we will have the benefits of chamomile listed over here as well as we will have even we will have even more um, of the benefits listed below in the description. So would you like to tell them what we'll be talking about today? Yes. So in today's subject, is it possible for your spouse to be your best friend? Mm -hmm. And not only can you hold those grounds of a mutual agreement, can it be established and beyond the establishment, can it be maintained? Mm hmm. And is it something that I guess can just naturally flow between y'all, like yeah. instead of forcing it? Right. Um, one question do I, that I do want to ask you with that mm -hmm. is, do you think that every couple that's married or for some people, you know, you may not be married, but this is someone that you've been with and it's like a kind of like a long term commitment that y'all have going on. Um, but do you think that everyone that's I'll say in a relationship um is to be best friends with their significant other more so when it's like marriage or like an alternative is you know some people they don't want to go through the ceremony so yeah. it's like you know honestly i believe it's based off the individuals and what they desire out of the relationship because you do have relationships that's just solely based on a need base like you take care of this while I take care of this and or we got certain obligations because of life that we might have created mm -hmm. or we're working a business together type mm -hmm. of thing. So it could be more in the sense of I trust you enough to make this whatever we got going on flow. Mm -hmm. But as far as me opening up and getting too personal, mm -hmm. they may not be feeling that. So, of course, best friend would be out of that equation. OK, so what if it's not something like that to whereas um kind of like that wall is up mm -hmm. what if it's a thing that they're open with each other is just that um maybe prior to them um uh, meeting they had you know a best friend already like right. the wife may have already had a best friend that she's had since childhood and she sees um that person as her best friend mm -hmm. and then the same thing with the husband mm -hmm. um but once again it's not so much that they um have their wall up with each other like they trust each other it's just that i guess my question is like how do you, what's your thoughts on a uh, marriage like that i mean i believe it's possible because i mean you're 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 what's the best way of putting this you tend to have bonds prior to getting in relationships whether it be a friend a best friend or whatever the obligation may be so mm -hmm. that can already be established but at the same time whatever you found new in this relationship with this person may mm -hmm. redefine what a best friend is or another level of best friend. i see okay yeah. or it may just be a thing of um, because I've known some couples where it's, you know, they're in a healthy relationship. I mean, every relationship has its issues, but they're in a healthy relationship, but they're just not best friends. And it's yeah. not like they, you know, um, that that causes them to bump heads. Yeah. Yeah. So when did you know that I was your best friend? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were my best friend when I got to a point to where I realized without me 
even factoring it in at the time, mm -hmm. but just how it just flowed when it came to yeah. me opening up to you, when it mm -hmm. came to me sharing certain things with you. It wasn't even about being feeling misjudged or anything yeah. like that. It was just, it was way beyond our compatibility. It was more, it was a sanctuary almost. It was like, it was, it was already based off of grounds of something sacred. Mm -hmm. So it just naturally flowed. Like I didn't have any doubts. I didn't have any hesitations. Like it, that's one of the ways that told me that, yeah, you are definitely not just the one, but also a best friend to me. I see. Yeah. Did you feel that way before marriage or like, I guess the more and more that we got settled into marriage? I felt the door open when mm -hmm. we first started talking. Yeah. But as we grew and we got to a point to where we moved in together, got to know more of each other, yeah. that just, you know, made it more than a door. It made it a whole room. And now we're at a point to where we have a home. Yeah. We got several rooms that have a particular meaning to them when it comes to our unity. I like that. Yeah. Okay. So what about yourself? I'll have to say that for one, I knew that you were my best friend because, you know, me, I don't typically just open up like that. But when I started noticing um, certain things that I'm just, it's flowing out of me as far as sharing with you. Yeah. Um, and not just sharing it with you, but trusting it. Yeah. Um, also, um, how I feel like with you, I can I can completely be myself without feeling like I have to explain certain things. Yeah. You know, you know, I do some of the most say some of the most random stuff <laughs> and do some of the most <laughs> random stuff. But and sometimes it does catch you off guard. <laughs> but it's like you know how to flow with it. Yeah. Um, and then if there are certain things that you're trying to understand about me, you will come to me and talk to me about certain things. Mm -hmm. um, I knew that then. As far as when, I would have to say the beginning of our marriage. I didn't quite know to define it as being mm -hmm. my best friend. Mm -hmm. But I would have to say that's around a time to where as um, it's kind of like that whole dynamic was just naturally created. Yeah. And I think within the past couple of years here, it's like we've been able to put an actual um, name to it, which is being best friends. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, you'll realize the more you're willing to compromise and sacrifice and put that work in with whatever relationship you have, with that significant other, you'll realize it opens up a many of uh, options and opportunities to not just grow, but get to a point to where you establish more of a appreciation for that individual. Mm -hmm. And the more you appreciate that person, the more you value yourself yeah. in as far as what you can contribute to her and vice versa and what y'all build together. So that appreciation goes a long way because it just it establishes a way of making it last a long time mm -hmm. it's not seasonal it's based off of you know this person has put this much into it i have as well mm -hmm. and it's genuine it's not based off of me trying to take advantage or manipulate yeah so yeah when we come back from <laughs> hearing from our um sponsors i also want to talk about how um that can be like a uh, a barrier can create issues mm -hmm. in a marriage. So okay. we will be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Our sponsors for today are Zenful Vibes, a holistic aspect of our sense of serenity. In today's product, we will be presenting the Elixir. This is a natural concoction that consists of a vast amount of earthly properties infused with both healing and rejuvenating the cellular structure of our unique anatomy. With the assistance of the ancestors and holistic dedication, it is confidently assured to aid and produce miraculous results. This natural compound has been supercharged with high vibrational energy to provide healing properties as far as eliminating pain. This should only be applied as external use only. It should not be taken orally. There are two variations of this elixir. You have the regular, which consists of mimosa bark, arnica, bee oil, and peppermint oil. And then you have the premium, 
which is more profound, more potent, and more powerful, which consists of everything of the regular, but it also contains snake oil. The type of mimosa utilized in this elixir is from a root tree bark, and it is good for cellular regeneration. It treats wounds, burns, and alleviates pain. The bee oil more so treats arthritis, inflammation, it assists in skin care, assists in back aches, and joint pain. The Arnica treats bruises, swelling, broken bones, sprains, healing wounds, muscle aches, joint pain, and set bites. Also good for inflammation as well as superficial phlebitis. And for those who desire the premium, the snake oil is good for pain relief. It reduces the inflammation. It's also good for skin care and muscle aches. For more information about this product, please visit our website, ouressenceofserenity.net, under the tab Zimful Vibes Holistic Products. <laughs> and we are back. Yes, yes. So as far as um, how I feel like, you know, because everything pretty much has a duality. Mm -hmm. So I feel like for me, I know my feelings can get hurt easier. Yeah. Yeah, then probably yeah. what it would be if it's like, okay, you were my spouse and not my best friend. Yeah. You know, not not you being both. So it's kind of like my feelings get hurt easier because it's like this is my best friend. Yeah. And we do like a lot of stuff together. Like this <laughs> is who y'all I don't know if y'all remember that meme. And was it with Michael Jackson of something or uh, somebody when they say when your best friend show up to or your favorite cousin or something like that show up to the family get together, you get hyped. Oh, that's Tupac. But they also had a Michael oh, yeah. Jackson one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think he was hanging out the window pointing. I'll show it to you okay. when we get off of here. <laughs> but it's more it was more so just saying how like your your best friend gets you hyped. And that's literally <laughs> like <laughs> How I feel about my husband. So it's a thing of whenever we're going through something and we may not be on speaking terms or there's tension, like my feelings can tend to uh, get hurt because I'm like, I don't have like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't have somebody to hype up and I don't have anybody to hype me up. So I think for me, you know, I take it harder because of that whole thing of I literally see you as my best friend. So, and it's not like being cute or couple uh, yeah. couple goals or whatever right. the case. So it's genuine. I can uh, agree on my end as far as yeah, there'll be certain times where you know something may pop off, mm -hmm. and it's not that we may not be feeling each other. It's just that that situation have us feeling a certain type They're of like way, distant, yeah. yeah, feeling distant, that tension and whatnot. And I got to admit, I don't think I've ever actually told you this, so this will be a first, but mm. my um, my day be all jacked up. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. It's like, it's like you want to <laughs> find things to do. It's like, right. well, now I got an you opportunity know, to do I this. Fun, you know what I'm saying? Okay, but then it's like, like yeah. damn, but she ain't with me. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like and then i want to have too much fun because it's like damn not, she could be here with right, me right you yeah. know what i'm saying so you are honestly the first person i've ever been with as far as a relationship the same, yeah. that ever made me feel that way and i was like damn like <laughs> you trying to act out hard you know what i'm saying like, like, you are having fun by yourself but it really ain't fun <laughs> it be like that but that just it just goes to show like like she was mentioning there's a duality to everything mm -hmm. so because we've not just exposed ourselves but we merged into yeah. one we're so close to where certain things can mm -hmm. not necessarily be triggering but it can hurt a certain yeah, type kind of way. take you out your element right yeah. exactly so it's like knowing once again that appreciation knowing that compromise knowing that okay let me see if I can prevent this from happening by taking these particular steps because of what happened, you know, previously or yeah. something like that. So being mindful, working on the relationship yeah. like we do, because it's not perfect. And I think any relationship that you could get into rather, excuse me, is going to involve work because everyone has their, not necessarily their flaws, mm -hmm. but everyone has their own bag. You know what I'm saying? And you need to know which ones you need to let go because it yeah. doesn't you know, doesn't do you justice nor your relationship. And you don't want that to be heavy baggage that this person is not having to take on. Yeah. So it's like paying attention and being mindful of, you know, you got to be selfless as well. Yeah. 
you got to realize that, yo, it ain't about me anymore. It's about how this affects my spouse. Right. So, yeah. And I think that when you um, come into a relationship or if it's further on down in a relationship where you start to um, expect perfection, I think that's where you start to fail. Agreed. In the relationship um, because it, it, at times it can be the complete opposite. I mean, I don't mean that in a way like, no, no, um, I'm, yeah, saying, like, you know, at saying. times it's just life happens. And, and whereas once upon a time you were doing life by yourself, you now have literally have a life partner. Right. Um, so at times it can be double the things um, that you're dealing with good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, there was some. So, OK, so last week and I told you about this um I came across a young lady. She probably was like in her mid 20s, maybe early 30s. And she was telling me that she was about to get married. So this was like last week on, I'm going to say like Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And she was um, about to get married on Saturday. And so um, she asked me, you know, before we ended our conversation, she was like, what advice would you give me? Mm -hmm. And I noticed that when she told me that she was um, getting married in a few days, she told me, she was like, yeah, she said, I'm excited because I'm marrying my best friend. <laughs> and so um, maybe like 30, 40 minutes later when we were about to end the conversation, she asked me, she said, before you go, she said, what advice would you give me? And I was like, well, you, well, you said something that was key. And I told her, I said that you're marrying your best friend. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her how me and my husband, we're best friends. And so I was like, keep that first because at times that's what you're going to have to pull from when it comes to y'all maintaining um, as healthy of a relationship <laughs> as you can. Um, sometimes it may not be enough to be like, okay, I'm thugging this out because my <laughs> husband, I'm thugging this out because my wife. It's like, you know what? This is literally my best friend. Yeah. So um, I think that's something that um, when she said that, I was a bit taken back because I've heard people say prior to me ever being married that, you know, I'm, I'm literally with my best friend, like I'm married to my best friend. But after experiencing it, mm -hmm. it, it hits different when I hear someone, uh, someone else say that and I can feel the genuineness behind it. So I agree. I feel as if those who are truly wanting to make it work, put that work in as far as the longevity of a relationship. Um, don't base it off anything outside yourself. Yeah. Like have your own, you know, your own language, have mm -hmm. your own way of being able to communicate with one another, not just through your words, but through the body language, through frequencies, through emotions, base it off of what y'all establish and what y'all yeah. create. Don't try to mimic anything outside yourself because that only confuses mm -hmm. it and just makes it something that's off uh, false pretense. Mm -hmm. And it makes it harder to say that, you know, this is really where we're coming from when it's not coming from mm -hmm. us, if that makes sense. And, yeah, it's like don't try to force your spouse to be yeah. your best friend. Right. Don't try to force yourself to see your spouse as right. your best friend because that may end up hurting the marriage. Exactly. <laughs> because it's like now at this point, neither one is being themselves because you're trying to fit the role of being your spouse's best friend. And then that creates tension. And then that can create separation, which can create right. divorce. Um so, yeah, and I think for us, um, one of the things that I feel um, help us to be, um, when it comes to us being best friends, and let me know if you feel differently, mm -hmm. is that we have things in common, but it's also the things that um, I guess we differ in, the things yeah. that make us different, that mm -hmm. connects us. Because, you know, when we first met, you were into the whole thing as far as health. And taking steps and being healthy and, and self-discovery. And, you know, I was just like, look, I'm about to <laughs> tear these oxtails up. And from time to time, as quiet as it's kept, if my mama making my will. But, you know, you were more, I guess, more disciplined when yeah. it comes to that. And so after some years, because, you know, I've said it before, the only way I can do something is if <laughs> I genuinely feel that I cannot follow the crowd. <laughs> um, but, you know, after some time, that has rubbed off on me naturally. Yeah. 
Um, and I feel like certain qualities um, about myself that maybe prior to us being together, you probably would have been like, oh, I can't see myself being like that. Mm -hmm. And not that it's anything negative. It's just that we get so we can get so fixated on who we are, how we're used to doing things. And there's just certain things that we're not willing to accept um, when it comes to our subconscious. Yes, so I feel like it's been the same thing with certain things that I've put into um, that, you know, I came into the relationship doing that has rubbed off on you. So it's kind of like the things that make us opposite. Also, I feel like has created our whole friendship of being best friends. So I truly agree. You have done yeah. the exact same. Like you said, as far as um, I've mentioned in past episodes on how I can be reserved. Mm hmm. She has rubbed off on me in a certain type of way to where you can let that out yeah. and not have to worry about losing control because yeah. it's not just justified. You literally expressing how you mm. feel. And sometimes it can feel as if, was it really worth it? Yeah, because yeah, you went through something yeah. and it's best for you to honestly express that rather than keeping that bottled in. You got to let that out. Mm -hmm. So she has definitely played a huge part in that. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> And before we end this, I want to say that it's very, very important because she mentioned something earlier as well as far as don't make it toxic. You don't want to base it off toxicity in the sense to where you're literally living a life just to be of the approval of your spouse, them forcing you to be someone or something that you're not. Mm -hmm. Don't go down that path. Don't take yourself to a place to where you're not yourself and don't put yourself in harm's way, mm -hmm. not just physically, but also emotionally. Make sure that you put yourself first as far as understanding yeah. the value that you have to offer to that spouse. So that way they give you that same respect in return. Because love, it ain't enough. Mm -hmm. It's love and respect. Yeah, because a lot That's of what people that love each other get divorced. Every, yes. And I'm not knocking divorce because sometimes, you know, that's what's best, you know, um, in that season. But, um, yeah, don't, um, don't do that. Yeah. yeah. Sure. So, yeah, is there anything else you want to add? No. Huh? You my best friend. You my best friend. For life. For life. Eh? And if you ever get another best friend, what I'm going to do to him? Don't say that on him. <laughs> <laughs> but he know what I've told him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just said don't make it toxic. <laughs> Especially if it's a female. Let me see. <laughs> that's like he can't have no she's not the jealous type because you, neither one of us are like that he actually when i met him is when i met one of his close friends amber mm -hmm. yeah and that's like my sister yeah probably. so yeah, sister. I, I, I love i love me some amber so we just <laughs> playing about that but amber you could be back up best friend. <laughs> Not doing this with you, fam. Like, I gotta be gone. I gotta be out of there. I gotta be an ancestor. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to add? No. <laughs> we hope that this really <laughs> resonated with people and connected in a way to yeah. where it's like, okay, if you were given any type of sign that was needed to hold on, to stay encouraged, hopefully this will be yeah. that very thing. And, and just make it fun. Like, yeah. this past weekend, we had tension. And remember Saturday? Oh, yeah. When we left? Yeah. And it's like one of the things that I can say about, you know, your best friend is that whether it's something that's, I guess, funny that happens when <laughs> there may be tension and it's kind of like that breaks the ice. So even if it's something, you know, that, that cannot be, um, such a good thing that takes place that brings y'all close. Like, just remember to, um, I guess one thing we're learning is, of course, there's going to be tension. There's going to be times where we're not dealing with each other. But, I mean, before it's the fact that I'm his wife and he my husband, before all of that, what usually brings us best back together is that we're best friends. Um, and that's what takes priority whenever it's time to be like, okay, let's put this to the side, yeah. you know, and reconnect. So, real talk. 
At this time, we would like to invite you all to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share this video, comment down below. Make sure that you share this video because in every video that we do, there is a message in every single video that we do and you don't want to get in the in the way of the universe being able to convey this message to whoever you choose to share this video with again comment down below what are y'all thoughts on this subject what do y'all think about it do y'all think that it's a healthy thing to see your spouse as your best friend or not um we're not looking at what you say as being right or wrong we just really want to hear your thoughts plus we like to engage with y'all in the comment section so be sure to comment be sure to check out our website, which is ouressenceofserenity.net, where we make high vibrational handcrafted jewelry. We also write blogs. We have our merchandise. We also have the product that you saw sponsored in this video under our Zenful Vibes Holistic tab. Also, be sure that while you're on our website to subscribe to our newsletter. You get a special gift as well as we will be having our Black Friday sale coming up on November 27th. So make sure that you subscribe to our newsletter prior to that date so that you can get the discount, the discount code. We will be running a sale for 40% off. So that will be our biggest sale of the year. Also, as of now, only our OEOS tribe members will be able to take advantage of our discounts in any sales that we run so just make sure that you subscribe to our newsletter is free and that's how you become an oeos tribe member also be sure to tune in on thanksgiving where we will be um sitting down with you all and having thanksgiving dinner we understand that over the past couple of years a lot of people who are used to celebrating thanksgiving with their family some of those family members have transitioned on so we would love to be y'all's family and sit down with y'all and enjoy um thanksgiving meal together and just talk about we haven't really discussed what the topic will be but mm. You know, we'll eventually put something together. What else? Make sure that you follow us on Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> Am I missing anything before I add something else? No, I think you did it. No. Oh, also be sure, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel because every month we do a monthly predictions video mm -hmm. about the energy for the month that's to come. So make sure that you tune into that so that you can be steps ahead when it comes to what's to come for the following month. Mm -hmm. Also, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Maybe, maybe not. But let me just say this. As always, um, I love to extend a thank you to our new subscribers. Ever since we've started our podcast, which has led to us being more consistent, um, people have been subscribing. They've been sharing our videos, liking our videos. Even if you want to give it a thumbs down, look. <laughs> it's still keeping us in right. the algorithm. So look, <laughs> feel how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, we want to thank you all. We are growing and we are going to continue to grow. So we want you all we want you all to grow with us. Am I forgetting anything before we close out? Completely you, like yeah. done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Again, thank you all so much. Is there anything you want to say to our new subscribers? Like my wife was saying, we truly do appreciate the fact that we're getting out there for those to see that certain material like this that's genuine mm -hmm. is actually out there. And that's our main thing. Yeah. Like, we understand, we understand rather the importance when it comes to that validity. In other words, getting to a point to where it's like, yes, I know I've come this far, but at the same time, it's good to find material outside myself that I can actually relate to mm -hmm. rather than having to settle for something that you know ain't you yeah so we want to you know further extend that appreciation by stating that we are putting that work in as far as showing you what realness is mm -hmm. and you know when you keep it real certain people can't handle that but those who see it for what it is that's who we're focused that's on. who we're yeah. focused on so <laughs> that's why we're doing this so we out here y'all mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well until next time you all take care and what do they need to do sweetness y'all stay lifted all right <laughs> <laughs>